kids, welcome to my channel. Do you see this toy elephant? He is so small, but the real elephants are opposite of this. They have long trunk, big legs and huge body. And the most important part, they have this beautiful tusks. They are known, they are made up of ivory. So today I am going to say the story of the brave quail. Once upon a time, there was a quail who laid some eggs. So, the another quail came and said to the mother quail, Take care of your baby. They might be surely killed by the ferocious elephant. Then the mother bird thought. And she said, I will bow and say to not kill my child below the ferocious elephant. So one day they saw a huge herd of the elephants coming and they were happy and sad at the same time because they knew this herd was the good herd but the bad thing was the ferocious elephant might be coming after the good herd. So when the good herd went, they saw the ferocious elephant coming, approaching to them. Then the quail came and said, please don't kill my baby. Then the elephant said, how dare someone come in my way? Then he came near the nest and he stamped on that nest. All the birds were dead. All the babies were dead. The mother of a bird was really sad to see her babies lying on the floor like this. And the elephant said, you wanted this? Take this. And he went really angry. Then the mother thought, I must take my revenge against this ferocious elephant who dares to kill my babies. Then the quail bird went to the crow and she asked her help. Will you please help me? The ferocious elephant has killed my babies. Then the crow said, I will help. But this bad nature must not go unpunished. So the crow said, what should I do? I will help you. Then the quail bird said, you have to just pick out the eyes and it should be empty sockets in the elephant's eyes. Then the quail bird went to the ants and the ant came out and said, Oh, I know you are sorry. I am going to help you. Then the quail bird said, You have to do nothing. This the crow will take out the eyes and in the empty sockets you have to fill your eggs. Then the ant said, Okay, I am going to do. Then she went to the frog and she said, Oh, wherever you are hiding, come out. Then the frog came out by saying, Croc, 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 croc. So the quail said, Will you help me? Then the frog said, Obviously, you can count on me. Then the quail bird said the whole plan to her and she said, You have to croc at a steep peak. He might search for water and he might know you are the frog. You must live in the water. So he is coming near to you and he will fall down. Then they did according to the plan. The crow pegged his eyes and the ant laid small, small, small eggs in it. And all the ants came out and started to bite his eye. He can't see anything and he was searching for water as it was burning a lot. Then the frog went to a steep peak and he started to croak with all his might. Croak, 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 croak. Then the elephant thought, oh, a frog's noise. I must follow it. There must be some water near it. Then he followed, followed, followed. And when he came there, he fell to his death. So the moral of the story, if you hurt me, you may really hurt, you may experience bad things. Thank you. Don't forget to ring the bell and for more videos subscribe. Thank you.